News Live Storm Team. Well, we've seen some isolated severe thunderstorms as we've headed into the late afternoon and early evening hours. Once again, most of the activity initiating in northwest Minnesota, where there's a boundary between some cold air to the north and east and hot stuff down to the south and west. And some strong cells in northeast North Dakota firing as well. Let's get you to the strongest cell that we have right now, moving toward the I-29 corridor of the Red River Valley near Oslo. This is moving over the Minto area right now and still has the potential for some sizable hail where we see the dark reds. That's some pretty strong uh, or heavy rain at the very least. Hail size estimates still upwards of an inch in diameter and it's moving in a southeasterly direction but only at about 15 to maybe 20 miles per hour. So the core of the storm right here moving southeast to 20 will put it in the Warsaw area at 621 here momentarily and then a little farther out near Oslo by 6 of 53. Again, it's good to prepare for a little bit of hail with that cell. Could be as large as an inch in diameter. A lot of very heavy rain with these cells making their way through New Folden now for the second time. And the Thief River Falls continuing to see showers area in northern and eastern Pennington County. Those cells are trying to surge up to the north just a little bit. Uh, Detroit Lakes just had a thunderstorm make its way through. Not a lot of lightning with that and a little bit of developing shower activity in southeastern Ottertail County as well. These are below severe criteria. At best, you'll see some tiny hail with this stuff as it moves southeast into northern Ottertail County, not far from the Vergas area and points east of there. As we look in the FM area in Cass County, we're seeing a thunderstorm trying to develop north of Wheatland as we speak. One to the south of the Fargo area, not far from Osgood as it makes its way off in toward the Barnesville area right now. We'll watch and see if those uh, take off. But for now, most of the activity to the north. You can get out and enjoy your evening. Not all of us are going to see severe or strong thunderstorms, but the chance does exist. It's hot out there. Feels like near 90 thanks to the high humidity, near 50% and the high heat. And not much wind to keep the skin cool either, but it is from the north at 7 miles per hour of ominous clouds off to the west of Grand Forks right now, 83 degrees on the thermometer and a wind of only 3 miles per hour. Temperatures in the upper 80s in southeast North Dakota. It's hot, 87 Sisseton, a little cooler up near Langdon where thunderstorms have been a booming. We had a funnel cloud report to the north of Langdon. We had a funnel cloud report to the west of the Grafton area as well from those cells that worked their way through. And a lot of rain-cooled temperatures up to the north and east, but you're on the cool side of a stationary boundary. Everyone having moisture available with dew points in the 60s and 70s. That's the oppressive type of heat that we would experience if we were, say, visiting Florida this time of the year. Thunderstorms continue this evening, and they will be hit and miss. For most of us this evening, we're not going to see thunderstorms yet. Now, as we go toward the late hours, some cells could develop out west and push through the valley by 10 o'clock tonight, but I think we'll have a quiet night of sleeping weather. The way things are looking, our model does mix the clouds into the area. South winds and temperatures to start our day in the 65 to 70 degree range. Now by tomorrow afternoon, temperatures soar once again. We'll be 85 to 90 in southeast North Dakota and in west central Minnesota. Up north, uh, a cooler day, but still near 80 degrees. Thunderstorms are likely in the afternoon. They could be strong, and we could see some working their way into the valley as we head into the evening hours as well. So we'll get ready for another hot day, another humid day. Temperatures uh, will soar towards 85 to 90 with wind from the south at 5 to 15. All of our southern counties with some thunder shower activity in the afternoon. Temperatures near 80 in Lakes Country, but warmer than that to the west. Well, the warm weather does continue. Thursday, a very good chance of heavy rain showers passing through, and it looks like the weekend will be hot as well with spotty thunderstorms, not widespread. Monday, a better chance of more widespread activity, cooler by Tuesday. All right, thanks, Hutch. You bet. Later in sports, the Red Hawks are headed to the East Coast. Alex will be in to tell us about their longest road trip of the year. And up next, the local university that's keeping a close eye on bees and how that will help them survive.